Hello, this is Bear from Bear Wave. How's it going? As promised, I'm back. Well, I'm alive and uh, with the US stock market update. So, as always, here on the channel, we're going to take a look at the Nasdaq, we're going to take a look at the SP, the Dow. Might take a look at the DAX as well, as we also like the, the DAX, the only European index, in my opinion, that is worth uh, taking a look at. And um, then also, I've got a couple of requests from members on the Discord so on two particular stocks. One of them is Apple, and the other one is uh, RTX Carb. So, and um, and yeah, as always, not try, will not add too much, so you guys also can take a look at my thinking process. Uh, we can work counts together on the way, and hopefully that's helpful. So again, as always, if you if you're not already in the Discord, I recommend you join. It's uh, obviously completely free. There you go. And uh, as you can see, there's people we we talk. It's completely free, and if you want to share your analysis, get a feedback from me, from other members, get fit, you know, ask me questions, ask me for analysis, blah blah blah, then um, the link in is in the description of this video. So enough being said. Oh, again, if you were in the Discord and your username was uh, Piki Toti or something like that, um, again, I cannot message you. So. Um, because you access the Discord, so if you want to reach out, then uh, you need to send me a friend request or join the Discord again. So, sorry if I spend that, but uh, I like the guy and uh, she's gone. So, the NASDAQ. So, basically, let me get rid of this. So, I've been... Um, so, actually, I want to address a question that I got in, um, in actually an old video. It was a, a recent question, but on uh, an old video why I marked this as four was the question and um, I'm pretty happy with this wave too that's why I don't know if you're gonna watch the, the video but that's what I'm doing now back back in the days um, it was a three months old video so back in the days I was also forecasting something like this that was still possible um, and I don't think that's the case right now I highly doubt it um, so that's what I'm seeing what, what I don't really like though is that this wave, if this is wave two, this was sharp, this is also sharp. So that's no alternation. So it, sh it should trigger a warning, um, actually. Um, I wonder if you have one, two, three, four, and five. But but this, this would mean we're close to the top and uh, we, we go back here at 10,000. Which to be honest, it's actually possible. Now that I think about it, yeah, it's actually possible, and um, I guess we'll see. But uh, it is possible. Um, let me know down in the comments what you think about it. But uh, yeah, guess we'll find out. But um, again, focusing on the shorter term, that's what I've been. That's the kind I've had for several months. You can go back in my old videos. Um, one, two, one, two, three, four, five. As I've said multiple, several, too many times, some people add this as XY. If you look at the XLK, the ETF on uh, technologies, um, the wave two, this pullback here on the XLK was like in here. So it was much shorter. And that also suggested this most likely was 012. So 1212, here you have alternation of 2 and 4, sideways 2, um, sorry. Sharp two, sideways four, and uh, in here you have a sharp two. So now, can we have wave four in here? The answer to that specific question, can we, is yes. Do we, is the answer to do we have a low in here? The answer is I have no idea. Nobody knows. If you know, if the answer is can it, yes. Is it? Nobody knows. You can say yes and be lucky, but uh, nobody knows. So here's what I can say though. This was sideways. I would expect a sharp four. Sorry, a si sorry. I said the other way around. This was sharp. I would expect a sideways four. That's what I expect. Now, if you look here at these lines, you see 0 0.618. That's the length of four against two. As you can see here, I've taken the length of wave two and then I projected it with uh, wave uh, on onto wave four, and here, which is where we reacted, here wave four 
was 6.8 percent the length of two so actually shorter equality is here at 60,200 why do I say that corrections of the same degree will tend towards equality in time or magnitude so that's why I always uh, look at um, not only time comparison but also uh, and especially length comparison so to be honest this looks like a three wave move so it, it looks to be corrective now again I don't know if we have a one two impu uh, impulse wave I will, again I would like to see a sideways four I guess we're gonna find out if I take a look at other individual stocks such as um, one was Microsoft which I was pretty bearish on let me MSFT so here Microsoft I see this is five ways down one two sideways two three four five it probably shows on the daily it does not for our it doesn't okay never mind but I do see it um, as a five wave move one two three four five and um, I would expect more downside um, but but then again here Microsoft I see a large dropping place so uh, it depends uh, we've seen uh, meta so meta platforms um, x Facebook dropping significantly we've seen Google after earnings and um, dividend announcement um, that Google's on a, it's gonna have its its first dividend uh, skyrocket. I had this count, which, to be honest, I I've had this count, and uh, I was like, there's no way we're gonna have a one two and then upside. We did. So actually, I had it. I wasn't positive about it, but um, I guess it happens. Uh, still, this could be some sort of a one two three four and five. I'm not discounting that possibility. And um, Vidya was a bit more bearish, but it looks like we might have had this way forward in here so I'm might gonna have reviewed the count but it looks like it and um, what else don't want to waste too much time on these I'd rather focus on other and then um, here it looks like a three wave move ideally this was a B C and uh, but it, it really it needs to be updated we're gonna have some answers um, I'm sure by the end of next week so um, yeah Either stay tuned, join the Discord, ask. Because if you ask me, I always um, answer you guys on the Discord. So, and I mean, feel free to ask. That's what I made the Discord for to create a community. So, that being said, if I take a look at the SP, with the SP is a bit different. I'm a bit more bearish, which in itself, they usually tend to move together. So, it doesn't really make that much sense. Because here I see a one, two, three, four, five. So I see a five wave move complete, and now I've seen people having one, two, and then one, two, three. Oopsie, no, you can't do that. Sorry. Wait a second. So I've seen people having one, two, and then one, two, three, four, five. Let me change color. Can we get a green? So it's more visible. Okay, so one, two, one, two, three, four, five. Which makes sense if you think about the NASDAQ. It would have the same implications of the NASDAQ count we have. So it makes sense in that way. What I don't like is this. It, 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 was, it was deeper than this. So if you say this is one two of one lesser degree than this one, then I would expect it to be shorter. Even though many times it's actually a bit longer, it happens. What it's good though is that you do have, you see here, you have significant support. I mean, this if you take I've just taken the length of this move. If I projected to here, this was six one point eight percent. The length of it so it, it shows you the strength of the um, fib, um, the golden ratio in the markets which you could argue but that's a whole different thing you could argue well it's this because people know it and they're going to look for it yeah you could argue that um, anyways yeah you could I guess you could see that and to be honest if obviously if we continue higher that's going to be my count I think I'm pretty sure 
and uh, taking a look at the, the DAO is a bit different. Nope, that's a DAX. The DAO is here. So with the DAO, I've had this count one, two, one, two. So I'm this count means I'm extremely bullish on industrials. Um, so basically, I'm saying I see rot a rotation out of tech and into industrials. So out of tech and consumer and into industrials, which if you take a look at some stocks, like I've been very bullish on Caterpillar, um, ticker symbol C-A-T, and then I also see some other stocks within the industrial sector potentially moving higher. Um, the only way, I mean, not the only way, but one way I can be wrong is we have just had a wave three here. We're now having four and we upside for five. So four and five, and then top and correct. That would basically have the same implication than what we have for the S&P and the NASDAQ, and that could fit. So that's one thing in my mind. And um, let me know if you have questions, as always. That being said, I don't want to make this video too long. Um, so I'm going to go on with the uh, first request, which was Apple, which I do own in my long term portfolio. Now, Apple's tricky. Um, what I like is this. I see this as corrective and I see this as corrective. And if I'm right, we could skyrocket, which if we skyrocket on Apple, remember Apple is, I think, not top one in the NASDAQ and the S&P. Could be top one um, holding in both. I don't know if it's not that Microsoft has a larger cap. I would have to double check, but still, if it's not the, the largest, it's top three. Pretty confident in that. Um, so if this goes up, I would expect everything else to skyrocket. So that's what's basically triggering a alert, uh, if, if you want to call it that. What I really like is that if you, t so I've had, I talk too much, I'm sorry guys, but I have a lot of things to say and uh, so little time. So here, I've seen, so first of all, you could argue if this is a five wave move, I can give you that. I've added, I have labeled it as you see it, but uh, you could argue this way four is shorter than this way three, um, two. And you could argue this looks more like a three wave move. If you're gonna tell me that on the comments, I I have to agree with you, I'm not gonna lie. Um, but I also see this as a three wave move. And it, there was a time where I saw this as a triangle, A, B, C, D, E. Um, but uh, at this point, I really have it like this. I'm not sure if we have a bottom in place. We could continue lower. Um, so as you can see, if we base here, we reacted off equality, which is where I, we usually get a reaction, equal legs of C and A. And um, ideally, we go back lower, we swipe out these lows and then turn higher. That's a possibility. Now I will look, I need to dig deeper into the company itself when it comes to investing and see if I want to add more to my portfolio. Ideally, the, the long trade will be triggered once you break this. You need to f start finding support on 200 and then, because large numbers uh, will attract large orders. Sorry, my phone. So that's, that's ideally, if you want to trade it, that would be the setup that I would look for. So really, that's it. Um, so it, in a summary, it it's interesting. Every bottom, I don't know, nobody knows. Um, but I wouldn't be surprised if we do get one more like lower. So RTX. I just wanted to count it with you. Um, so yeah, that's have less minutes to count it together. So what I'm seeing is one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. So let's, oopsie. So let's do this. One, two, why is it disappearing? One, two, three, four, five. Okay, so let's do, let's go with a cycle. 
and then we'll work on details one step at a time. That's usually how I do it. One, two, one, two, three, four, five, three, five, one, two, one, two, three, four, five, three, four, five, three. Just a second. Okay. So I see one, two, one, two, three, four, five, three, four, five, possible. Three. Well, let me check here. Which, mm, that's interesting. That's when it gets tricky. Uh, you could place. Let's look at our SI. What's volume saying? Okay, I'll pick volume here, obviously. Ramping up again. Let's take a look at relationships of one, two, three, four, five, two, one, two, one, two, three, four, five, three, four, five. Okay, so maybe one is here because I can count five. Sharp two. Let's look at relationships. Which one is going to eight? Okay. Two point six point eight and two three. Okay. Five three four five three four five. So I don't see three bin here. I cannot count it like that. Two three four five. So we, uh, I will need to waste some time to investigate on this, um, which I don't want to waste your time. So it looks like this is some sort of a low. For the shorter term, let's go into the, oh wait, let's, let's delete this first. Let's go into the daily. One, two. Let me check if. Okay, so you could count this as some sort of an ugly expanding diagonal, like this one, two, th three, four, five. Again, ugly expanding diagonal. It's all possible. <clears throat> one, two, one, two, two, three, one, two, three, four, three, four, five, three, four, five. Okay, so it could have. Been one, two, one, two, three, four. It could have been something like one, two, three, four, five, with a truncated fifth, which is very rare. But see that one, two, one, two, three, four, five. So ABC sharp correction upside. So now we're at a very important level, which is hundred. Again, large numbers will attract large orders, and one hundred is one of them. And obviously, it's also previous, um, oops, wrong tool, previous all time high. So, we need to see what's going to happen. Um, if we dig even deeper on this move here, one, two, three, one, two, one, two, three, four, five, three, four, five. Yes, it looks like something could be imminent. One, two, three, four, five, three, four. Is three shorter than one? Let's check. Yes. So, one, two, one, three, four, five, three. So, if three shorter than one, then when validation will be here, because obviously f uh, three cannot be the shortest. So, I'm thinking one, two. Okay, so here's, here's the thing. Um, well, don't mind the degree too much right now. One, two, one, two, three, four, five, three, four, five. That's what I look for. And I would expect, um, let's call it turbulence, <laughs> to use some um, terms from the aerial space world. Um, I would expect a series of three and fours around 100, and then eventually a larger pullback. And uh, at that point, you could look for longs.
that's what I would do. I'm not saying you have to do it. I'm not giving you advice. That's what I would um, say could happen. So thanks for watching. Sorry if I bore you uh, again. Hope to see you on the Discord. Let me know if there's any questions down in the comments or not. And um, thanks for watching. Have a good weekend. And I'll see you in the next one.